Hi everybody, uh, just a little demonstration on how to use oxygen free nitrogen for pressure testing your vehicles. Now before we go on there's a few safety things to go careful about here. If you look at the regulator you can see the pressure here 2300 psi. Certainly not the thing to start playing around with in the workshop. If you ever get a regulator, fit it to the bottle first, then check the pressure. Do not remove the plastic cating from the bottle. Put your hand in front of it and just see if there's any pressure in the bottle. It will cause serious damage. So connect the regulator first. Now personally, if we uh, see over 2000 psi on the left hand gauge, we set the regulator here. to 10 bar on the right hand gauge. We connect the low and high side up if you can. And the maximum pressure you should be putting in is 10 bar. You're over pressurizing the low side by five times, but you're actually under pressurizing the high side. So we can let it in very slowly from this side. Watch the red gauge here. So what comes on the blue gauge should come on the red gauge. Now, oxygen free nitrogen can be used for several things. Number one, pressure testing. You can see you've got a leak there. See it going down. Two, if you put pressure in on the right hand gauge at 10 bar you should see 10 bar on the right hand gauge if you don't you've got a blockage so you can use it for diagnosing blockages after you set the pressure you shut the bottle off and then you watch the gauges for any drop Okay, after you set the gauges to 10 bar, you sit and wait. Lock the bottle off. If you can see a drop, you've got a leak. It don't tell you where it is, but it tells you you have got a leak. You must find this. If you've got problems finding it with oxygen free nitrogen, please contact me because we've got a different gas that will find any leak on any car. Come back to me and I'll uh, point you in the right direction. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Bye for now.